Hey guys, Todd here from Mississippi Ski Riders. Lots of in interest in my umbrella setup uh, that I put on the Ski Rider uh, post the other day. So, just take a look at it. Let's get started. Okay, so first what you're going to need to do um, in order to secure the umbrella to the back of, to the back of the ski so it's not wobbling back and forth is to get you a two by four. This one's approximately 13 and a half inches. I did the math on it so you guys don't have to worry about it. It's 13 and a half inches and what you're going to want to do is drill you a two inch, get a two inch hole saw, drill it and cut it out like you see here. One of the things I want to point out though is that you can't just make the cutout in the center because you have your uh, your um, your flush opening right here so you're gonna to have to offset your uh your your cutout now one of the also also one of the things i want to point out is that you're gonna to have to remove some of the two by four in the back if you, as you see right here because you can't get if you don't you're not going to be able to get the 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 uh the brace of the two by four into the into the ski so uh take take that into consideration when you're doing that it goes right over top just slips right over over the uh the flush valve there so after that what you're going to want to do is get you a piece of inch and a half pvc schedule 40 paint it sand it paint it uh, make it look pretty uh this one's this one is um this one is about eight, 18 and a half inches uh one of the things you're going to have to do also is you see this hole right here this is going to be for your spring loaded d-ring to, to secure your umbrella uh, this uh, spring loaded d-ring is about seven inches down and you have to do that because you don't want to put your your hole right here where you're going to put your um, your BB cores so we'll get into that here in just a moment so that's pretty much it for the foundation uh, so what I want you to, to right now um, we'll talk about the BB core and these are I'll put the links into the into the um, into the video but these are bv coran i got them off of amazon they're cheaper than ram uh ram does have the same thing but they're much more expensive these are high strength inch and a half i'll put the again i'll, I'll put the uh the link in the um in the video you're going to need four of those one two three four next you're going to have you're going to want to get some uh some arms or some uh, socket arms uh you're going to want to get again these are bb coran there's uh right off of amazon you're going to want to get a, a medium size and a short. Uh, you're just going to want two of those. Now, the reason why you want a, a medium and a short is because you're going to have to offset the distance because you're going to have a bottom uh, bottom connection and a top connection. And we'll, I'll show you that here in just a moment. Uh, a D-ring with a spring-loaded D-ring. That's to secure your umbrella. Get you a tennis ball, split it. It goes in the bottom of the, uh, of the PVC. And once you get all that, once you get it put together, once you get it uh, ready to go, you're ready to put the, uh, the the system together. Okay, so here we are with the system attached to the ski. Uh, a couple of things to point out. Again, you have your your short arm, you have your medium arm, you have you you have your uh, your connectors, and these are all again these are B size. Uh, they all fit B size. You can get them again RAM, but RAM's more expensive. Uh, is vertical it's good and, and it's this is pretty solid folks um, great uh, great add to the ski we really enjoy it now one of the things that uh, I want to point out is the reason why we did this and not a rack is because well uh, my son and my wife and my daughter they like to sit on the back so if we had a rack and did the same thing uh, they wouldn't be able to sit on the back of the ski so be, take your time be careful uh, not responsible if uh, you, you do things to your ski or what have you, but this has worked out great You probably saw the post that we did in Navarre made a couple of river runs um, it, It's work out works out really good Lastly uh, make sure when you when you're setting this up if you're in the water or whatever especially if you're in the rivers or, or dark water These do tend to to slip off if you if they're not tight when you when you're assembling or when you're taking it down So it may be a good idea to just go ahead and get you a spare of the short and the medium arms here uh just to have in your ski in case you drop one in the in the river what have you because um as you know you drop it in the river uh you're probably not going to find it so 
that wraps it up. Tom from Mr. Ski Riders. Keep riding.